Happy Vlogmas! I decided to do Vlogmas this year. I don't know if I'm gonna do it for 12 days or 24, 25. I'm getting a head start because Vlogmas ain't that easy. It's not that bad of vlogging and editing and uploading. It's just doing it back to back to back every single day. So today is not technically December 1st, but I'm kind of vlogging in advance, which is actually what a lot of YouTubers do when it comes to Vlogmas. But I hope you guys are excited. I'm really excited. We're having Christmas in the camper. If you're new here, welcome. We live in an RV full time, sold our home in New York, traveled a bit bought some land and we're slowly starting the process of building on that land and while we're building we're living in the RV full time so that's our situation and this is our second year having Christmas in the camper it's super cozy so on today's agenda I'm gonna be heading to the store right now with the kids I gotta buy a few things then I also want to get gift tags for their presents so that I can label all their presents I have some fun stuff in store for this vlogmas we're gonna be doing lots of Christmassy things hopefully and hopefully you guys will enjoy these videos yes we are going it's probably the busiest I've seen this parking might be all that holiday shopping people are trying to squeeze in I made it to the Dollar Tree I want to get some tags for their yeah for the presents, presents. I picked up a cookie butter coffee got their cute little Christmas cups that? Girl, you can't get coffee. I was looking on their app and you're supposed to get a free donut with every purchase until December 27th and I did not get my free donut so that was not cool but I was gonna split it up with the kids and surprise them but that <laughs> clearly didn't happen. We had a quite an eventful morning so it was probably like 20 degrees at night. So my husband turned off the water and then brought the hose inside just so that nothing bursts or freezes over. And then this morning, he went to go reattach everything in our actual spout that comes out. Like every single site has water, electric, sewer hookups. Our hookups in particular were frozen solid. So he hooked it up to the neighbor's one. And luckily there was nobody there and we had water there. But yeah, for like a hot minute, we had no water. And then we had to bring the turtle inside since it was freezing temperatures. Josiah has a little pet turtle. So we brought him inside and we had to, he's in the house right now. And <laughs> the kids are like teasing him. Like what if Chai, our cat, like eats him when we're gone? He's like, stop. She was trying to mess with the turtle, but I think your turtle would be fine. You like those? Oh, I like these. These are cute. Or those. I like these. I actually have a cute selection. I'm trying to find a wreath for above our bed in the RV. And all of them, this one's really nice. It's only $18 or $17. And it's pretty decent for being $17. It has a mix of like the different tips. And it has two rings in the back. But I feel like it would be a little bit too big for the RV and it's kind of heavy, but if you're looking for a nice wreath, that one's actually not that bad. And then this one's really nice, but this one's more expensive. It's $25, but even for $25, it's still a really good price. I might get a real one because I have some outside, like little mini ones. These are the wreaths here. They're super cute and the perfect size, only $12, but they are already, they already look like they're dying, so. I am happy to report that chai did not mess with the turtle. I want to show you guys what I picked up. So at the dollar store, I got found this cute little gingerbread soap dispenser for three dollars. I'm gonna put it in the bathroom. Like, how cute is this? Three dollars. And then Children some gift thing. tags, which is the main thing. Oh, some Christmas erasers for the kids for their pencils, and some gift tags, which is like the main thing that I wanted just to put so that the kids know which present is whose. A little stocking stuffer for Chai. These guys, I'm sure they're not like the best, but little treats you want to put in her stocking. And then at Walmart, I got napkins. I needed some napkins. And this really cute cardigan. So the first time that I saw it, I posted it to my Instagram stories. I didn't buy it that time, but since then, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I was like, I feel like it would be so perfect for the Christmas season. And it is this cardigan here. It might be sold out in some sizes online. And they do have different patterns, but I specifically really wanted a white one. It's so soft. It's like barefoot dream soft and so cozy. And I believe it has, yeah, it has pockets. And it's like mid-thigh length. Let me actually put it on because it is the coziest thing ever. Literally everything that I thought it would be. I do have a sports bra underneath, so don't mind that. It's not like my actual bra bra. But it is so warm and cozy. I feel like this to lounge around, when in the, lounge around in in the mornings mm -hmm. or around the house. I'm so happy that I got it. So I just couldn't stop thinking about it and I went back and I bought it. I also got a, it's from the brand Time and True. I'll try to find it, link it down below, but you're better off checking your local Walmart. 
I also bought a vinyl lipstick. So I mentioned this in a previous vlog, but I have been on the hunt for a specific red. I talked about the Bad Blood liner from Urban Decay and it has like this, it's a deep red, but it has bluish purplish undertones. And I purchased a few products and none of them have been a match. So then I swatched this one in store. I have the one unrivaled, but that one's too purple. And I love the formula of these because they don't transfer in with red lipsticks. I feel like it can be super tricky because they can transfer and get everywhere and messy. And this formula is really nice, like 10, $11. And so I swatched the shade Wicked and it seemed like it would be a really good match. So we're gonna go try and see. Eloise, cutie girl. Eloise got herself a little eyeshadow palette at the dollar store. She loves to play around with my makeup. So I let her have her own yeah, this girl. And, I got like the, and she has some mini Uno got, cards. Yeah, mini Uno cards. So you and Josiah both got them. And then it also comes with this tiny little tiny, tiny little brush. And then it has like a clear thing, so it protects Look at you influencing the people to go to the dollar store and buy some eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. All right, let me see if this Bad Blood lip liner. Here's the shade Wicked swatched since I swatched it in store. And then let me swatch Bad Blood from Urban Decay right next to it. Oh my goodness, I feel like oh, this might be it. So it's not an exact match. So to the left I have the lip liner and to the right is Wicked, the vinyl liquid lipstick. But it's probably the closest thing I've come across so far when it comes to finding something for Bad Blood. So Bad Blood's a little bit more, I would say has like a little bit more of like a burnt deep red to it but it still has purple undertones and then the vinyl liquid lipsticks a little more purplish but i feel like when you apply them together on the lips they're going to be gorgeous so let's try it out both of these products are pretty good when it comes to longevity and the only thing that i have found that works well to remove it is a dual phase like eye makeup remover it works like a charm to just get it right off all right so let me go ahead and apply these real quick Okay, so here we have the lip liner. I'm gonna fill it in with the vinyl liquid lipstick from Maybelline. When applying dark lipsticks, I always try to get it on the inside, like right here, because then otherwise I feel like it looks weird. Okay, I think this may be it. It's coming off a little bit more red on camera. In person, I would say you can see like the bluish purple, purple tint to it. Yeah, on camera it's coming off a little bit different. In person, it's definitely more of a blue purple. But here's compared to my nails are more of like a orangey red like a neon bright christmas red but this combo right here i think i'm finally finally satisfied okay i'm gonna let it dry down because i can't get a lot on my teeth it's a little sticky at first so i'm gonna let it dry down because it feels weird check out my previous vlog where i did my coffee setup situation and have like a thumbnails like me holding a coffee cup with red lips i talked about some of the other red options so if you're looking for like a good christmas red and you love taylor swift's red that she wears bad blood i heard is basically a perfect color match for that so i've just been on the hunt for a liquid lipstick that will match that and i feel like this is the closest i've come so far so i will link both of these down below because I'm finally happy. I was gonna decorate a little bit more for Christmas, but I'll save that for tomorrow's vlog. I wanna finish up the garland, hang some bells, and do the Christmas ornaments. Maybe I will tie them ribbons today, we'll see. But this is where I wanted to hang the wreath. So this is our main bedroom. I was going between a garland to go across the entire top, but I feel like, I don't know, I'd probably just do like a little, small little wreath. So that one from Walmart would have been perfect, but it was kind of, dying so i'll try to see if i can find maybe a local christmas tree farm or something i would have made my own but i don't like this is not my property so i don't want to go out stealing people's pine branches and stuff so i think i'm actually gonna do the laundry right now because i want to have all the laundry done for the weekend i'm gonna visit my sister and i want to have all the kids clothes done and then wash this cardigan here so that i can take it with me and wear it I wanted to do it this morning, but I wasn't sure if how the water would be because our water spout was frozen over, so I wasn't sure. So hopefully now it's like 40 degrees, so everything's like thawed out and it's a lot warmer. That's the nice thing about like in New York, when you have freezing temps, you have freezing temps for the whole day. It's like 24-hour situation, if not longer. Here it's like 
it, by, the, by the daytime everything is fine so that's nice when my parents were visiting my mom brought some desserts that she made at home I don't know if anybody knows what this is we call it chocolate kielbasa it's basically shaped to look like a kielbasa stick but made out of chocolate like cocoa powder chocolate I'm not sure what else she puts in here like cookies and stuff my kids are obsessed with it it's so good and then she had a little bit of lemon so it's like a nice little lemony flavor ah oh, so good my kids are having a little at home painting session painting some clay models that they did so i figured i'd take this time to show you guys some holiday dress options i just uploaded an instagram reels today there are two dresses in particular that i think are really beautiful from amazon i shared one of them in the past in a vlog i just don't think i ever tried it on it's these two dresses here let me actually show you the red one first because that one's just a one piece everything on camera for some reason comes off super bright red but in person it's like a beautiful deep christmas red it has kind of like a cowl neck drapey neck and then the back is my absolute favorite it has like this draping back it's not too low cut but it's just absolutely stunning and then it has a seam here in the back and then going down it has a zipper on the side and then it has a little bit of like ruching action on the sides here and I just find it to be super flattering. It is, I'll actually insert a video as I'm talking of what it looks like on me kind of side by side. Just such a beautiful dress in my opinion. I feel like red is the color for this Christmas. I mean, red is the color every single Christmas, but for some reason this Christmas, I feel like everybody is obsessed with like that deep, deep red. So if you're looking for a really nice Christmas dress option, I know a lot of people stay in for Christmas, but for us personally growing up we always went to church on christmas especially if it falls on a sunday now that we're have our own family and it's let's say christmas is on like a monday through friday we would stay in and have like a slow christmas morning unwrapping presents and all that but growing up like we always went to church it didn't matter if it was a monday a tuesday a wednesday a thursday a friday if you grew up in a slavic church then you know exactly what i'm talking about like half of your christmas break was literally pre-christmas christmas post-christmas post new year's it was just like church every single day so this is why i say um dress for christmas i know a lot of people stay in there in their pjs right now we're kind of the same i think christmas falls on a sunday this year does it my battery died as i was talking so i'm gonna try to set it up how i had it but i was saying that there's also a christmas eve candlelight service i probably wear this or like a christmas concert or something so i'll link that one and then this is the second option here i did show this in a vlog before and i'll insert a video of what it looks like on me here it's actually a two-piece this is actually not part of what I'm talking about. This is kind of like the Pumi Skims dupe. But this is the dress here. And you're going to have to buy a slip or something underneath. It has this mesh material. This is black. They sell t um, like shirts in this color. So many different things on Amazon. If you just type in rhinestone pearl top, like mesh top, sheer top, whatever, or dress, whatever. So many different options will come up. But it has rhinestones and pearls all throughout. And it is gorgeous i saw a photo of it on amazon of somebody wearing it and i bought exactly this dress and the slip she had underneath and this is the slip that i bought with it that she had in the photo and it is a perfect match it has like a knot front tie you can actually wear this in the summertime if you wanted to it has this ribbed material and it is the perfect length for that rhinestone pearl dress there even the slit in the back matches because that does have a slit the length the slit everything matches as if it was made for that dress so this is why i would highly recommend this underneath if you want something that matches completely but those two options in my opinion you could even wear this for new year's eve if you're going out for new year's eve whatever you know everybody has different plans but i just wanted to share those two dress options because they are stunning and i am like obsessed with them so i wanted to share but i think i'm gonna finish today's vlogmas here my husband should be coming home soon so i'm probably gonna get started on dinner get started on the kids bedtime routines and stuff i was gonna decorate the tree with them but i think i'm gonna save that for tomorrow I think that's what we'll do in tomorrow's vlog but yeah if you guys are excited for vlogmas be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow along i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye it's just you and me tonight i'll spend all this christmas with you